because of the circumcision. We were uncircumcised before we died. Therefore, when the prophets referred to the enemies of the Jews in Israel, they would say, those are uncircumcised, as if to say they have no share with God. For before Christ died, we had no part with God. The law was not given for the Gentiles, it was given for the Jews. We were, do you know how we were? Look how the verse says, verse 12. Observe how we were back then, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. What a state. What happened when Christ died? Verse 13 says, But now in Christ Jesus you who once were far off, say, we're far off. You have been, you have been brought near. By what? And what happens to a Jew who does not believe in the shedding of Christ's blood? He walks away. He moved away. The Jews moved away. This was a Jewish synagogue. Can you imagine what is a Jewish synagogue doing 2,000 years later? It was. Now it is a building, not a synagogue. It's a building where the church sits, goes to listen. But we should see here that they removed everything from them. Just look, look at what the verse states. The 15th verse. See what was done to the Jews by abolishing in his flesh, in the flesh of Jesus Christ, he ended the enmities. The law of commandments contained in ordinances. What are the laws of commandments expressed in ordinances? Whose law? Moses. Say abolished. And what does it mean when something is abolished? And what do people do keeping the law? So what happens then? The Jews were left with absolutely nothing. Verse 15, take a look, abolished in his flesh. Look at what Jesus Christ's flesh came to do. He came to abolish the same law that he gave to Moses. God gives the law to Moses, then comes in flesh to abolish it, to remove it. It says, having abolished in his flesh the enmity because the law produces a lot of enmity. The law of commandments contained in ordinances. Listen to this. So as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace. What does Ephesians 3, 5 say? What does chapter 3, verse 5 say? The mystery of Christ, which in other generations was not made known to mankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in the Spirit, that the Jews, hello, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs of the same body and partakers of his promise in Christ through the gospel.